Electronics ended after Nexus security forcibly removed protesters, resulting in numerous injuries. Tensions reached a boiling point after protesters complained their families were being kept in stasis in favor of sleepers with political connections. This is HNS. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Rider clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad. That does tend to happen. Right, right. I know. So, um, I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the Attic Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relays scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for cloak and dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. That's vague. A future? For your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish there. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. 
Are you interested? Who was that? The benefactor? I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. That's all for now. Of course. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Your father's personal logs. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jien Garson who founded the initiative, but it wasn't. I guess Jien's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is. Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Same will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni, an expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. 
I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Ryder, Barlabon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from your mother's final day. It was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. We have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. And after that? We'll still have each other, but we want you. I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. And remember, fall in love at least once. I'll let you guys talk. Say it, Alec. Say it. Then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Alec, but don't let this destroy you. What did you used to say when you were in N7? When your back's against the wall, if you can't run from it, use it. Remember that. Be strong. Never as strong as you. I love you, Ellen. I... I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos, otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. Everything ends. Life, stars, galaxies. They all die eventually. It's just how things work. Yet it appears this belief serves as a form of motivation for many organic life forms. It's why you exist. Dad hoped you could save her. And I failed. I never understood. With all your capabilities, Sam, why did she die? My ability to enhance organic physiology has limitations. Your mother's disease was systemic. It also seems that life is more than just biology. 
It is the will to continue living. I believe your mother accepted her fate, and likewise, her body surrendered. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course.